Caleb Plant is the undefeated IBF super middleweight world champion. With all the action surrounding the middleweight and super middleweight division, Plant's next fight might be for all the marbles and all of the glory. However, men learn from history that men don't learn from history. Hopefully for us boxing fans, Caleb Plant will be the exception to that rule. Hey, what's going on ringsiders? This is Boxing Subjective Observer and welcome back to the channel. Or if you're new, feel free to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content. Caleb Plant seems to be an interesting topic for many boxing fans these days with the inevitable question, when are you going to fight Saul Canelo Alvarez? I'm sure that uh, the zone Eddie will be putting off an offer. And of course, it's something that's going to have to be looked at. Uh, that's what happens in negotiations. I got a great team. There's no one who does it better than Al Heyman. There's no better manager than Luis Cubis. And uh, they've done a perfect job with me thus far. I don't see anybody with 21 fights in the position that I'm in with or without the Canelo fight. So, uh, you know, they, they've, done, they've done right by me so far. And, and uh, I follow their lead when it comes to uh, the negotiations. And Following his 8th round TKO win over former WBO super middleweight champion Billy Joe Saunders, Saul Canelo Alvarez was asked what fight he would like next. And now you have three pieces of the 168 pound title. There's one more to go. Is Caleb Plant who you want next? That's the plan. That's the plan to go for, for, the, for the bell and I'm coming man. I'm coming my friend. Do you think you can that, do you think that fight can be made? I hope so. I hope that fight made easy and then give the fans that fight and the free Mexica unified fighter on the in the history. Nello doesn't have an opponent yet for, for May. You know, that, that's something I, I would imagine would interest you very, very much. How far is May away? I don't know, could you? How far is May away then? We're in February, March, April, May. So, so that means take half a month off after a three and a half month camp and then go right back to work, right? Mm -hmm. Just so they can try and get me when I'm overworked. So you control the narrative and you control the media. Mm -hmm. They make an offer knowing that I just fought. So when we say no, then it seems like I'm ducking them. You control the narrative, you control the media. Don't let them fool you. Make of Caleb Plant saying if given the opportunity he wouldn't fight Canelo on short notice. I I I, I don't understand what he's talking about short notice. I mean there's still <laughs> there's still what nine weeks left? What short mm -hmm. notice is that? I mean it's look the truth of the matter is is that if you if you're gonna if you're gonna not wanna fight Canelo and we're considering you, then it's over. That's it. It's over. You're, you will not have that opportunity ever again because there's so many champions out there in his weight division. Actually, he can choose from three weight divisions, from three weight classes. So if he's saying, well, I'll wait, I'll wait my turn. No, we're, ask, we're telling you to fight him now. It's, it's, it's your, the opportunity of your, of your life. In typical PBC fashion, Caleb Plant's team claimed their man wouldn't have enough time to prepare. Canelo still doesn't have an opponent for May, which is that something you'd be interested in? And um, Canelo and his team haven't even sent an offer to us. Just asking if I would be willing, you know, someone, and I said no, I would not. Because it's in May, we're halfway through February, that means I'd have to go right back into training camp, and um, I'm going to let my body rest. I don't see Canelo jumping in that quick again. He fights in May and September. There's a reason for that. Boxing. Boxing is my whole life, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, your life is all you have. You know, I have sacrificed everything for this. I've dedicated my whole life. I've lived by the book. I've, I've done this by the rules. And um, man, I've sacrificed a lot to be here. And I worked really, really hard to be here. And um, any of my peers that have ever seen me train, you can ask them the same, they'll tell you that, you know, nobody works harder than me. So um, I really want this. And uh, you know, I'm sure we're gonna be able to make it happen. Looking at Sweet Hand's resume, it does look PBC-esque. What do I mean by that? A bunch of guys you've never heard of. Some guys that were decent, including his namesake Caleb Truax, who held the IBF title for a hot minute, but is way past it 
at 37 years of age. So far, Plant has shown himself to be a talented fighter. How talented? We don't know yet, simply because PBC in particular has a track record for being standoffish of the idea of having their fighters fight other fighters outside their promotional outfit. Um, that's my goal, you know what I'm saying? I want to become the first undisputed uh, super middleweight champion of all time. And so whoever, whoever's in the way of that, it doesn't matter. You line them up, I'll knock them down right here on Fox. But if Caleb Plant wants to become a hot commodity in the sport of boxing, or at least build his legacy, he needs to take some chances. I'm putting together a video about the PBC and how their flawed approach to boxing has left boxing fans hanging and killed off fighters' opportunity. Now let's go back to spring of 2019. Jarrell Miller gets popped for PEDs and a scheduled bout for June 1st against Anthony Joshua is scrapped. Though AJ represents the biggest payday, the fastest shot at heavyweight glory, the unified WBA, IBF, and WBO world champion struggles to secure a replacement for his first fight stateside. Andy Ruiz grabbed the opportunity of a lifetime and went on to upset Anthony Joshua. Andy Ruiz took the final short notice. Look what happened with uh, Joshua. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, this is boxing. I mean, anything can happen, but opportunities don't come often. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and he's passing up. I'm sorry. However, prior to Andy the Destroyer, Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, and Adam Kovnatsky, three PBC fighters openly declined the AJ fight. Deontay Wilder, who claimed to be looking for generational type money, walked away from a $100 million offer, a fact Wilder himself admitted as recent as 2020. Same goes for Luis Ortiz, who was offered his highest payday up to date, only to take on Deontay Wilder for a second fight and getting KO'd in the process for nothing close to the offered $7 million for the Anthony Joshua fight. And the then heavyweight contender Adam Kovnatsky, whose team claimed Adam wasn't ready, moved in another direction, getting KO'd by veteran Robert Helenius. Now that was March of 2020, well over a year ago at the making of this video. And guess what? We haven't seen Adam Kovnatsky in a professional boxing match ever since. Adam Kovnatsky, just like the aforementioned two fighters, Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz, missed out on their biggest payday, their biggest opportunity to show off their greatness. Lightning doesn't strike twice in the same place, yet Caleb Plant might be the most fortunate man in boxing right now. Remember, Team Plant already declined the Canelo fight once before. In the meantime, Saul Canelo Alvarez has unified twice and is very clear with his intention. Fueled by his hunger to become the first undisputed Mexican champion in the four belt era and with multiple fighters chasing the Canelo fight. Payday, you want payday, I know that. It's clear who the Mexican has his sights on. I'm coming, man. I'm coming, my friend. Do you think you can have that? Do you think that fight can be made? I hope so. I hope the fight made easy and then give the fans that fight and the free Mexica unified fighter on the, in the history. So there is the opportunity of a lifetime that lies ahead for the current IBF super middleweight world champion. The question, however, remains will Caleb Plant go for glory? or will he decide his date with destiny has come too early yet again? How do you match up against a Canelo? As I said before, I feel like I'm the best super middleweight in the world. So like I said, who, who is ever in the way of me becoming the first undisputed champion? You line him up, I'll knock him down, and we'll do it right here on the best uh, platform you can, Fox. You'll get the uh, first undisputed super middleweight of all time, and his name is Caleb Plant. You're looking at him. Men learn from history that men don't learn from history. Hopefully for us boxing fans, Caleb Plant will be the exception to that rule. Just my thoughts, but let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, we make this kind of content regarding boxing and fighting as a whole. So if you enjoy this kind of content, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Set that on all notifications. That way you'll know when the next fire video drops. Hit the like button as well. It helps grow the channel and also inspire us to make more quality content 
for y'all. If you've done that already, we already know you're awesome. You are the true undisputed champion. Till next time, Ringsiders, this is your host, Boxing's Objective Observer with Ringside Stories. Thanks for watching and have a legendary day.